Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Alicia here and I am fucking back. I'm high to the sky. So we are going to do empty. My favorite video to do, which is when I talk about my favorite, or not favorite, but just like products that I use, should you buy them, give my personal opinion that you didn't ask for, and if I would repurchase. So if you're interested in watching my empties part like nine or something, then stay tuned. All right guys, so let's jump into it. Let's talk about these, cause these are like wet and I really wanna wash my hands. I have a couple of like these um, one time use masks that I will talk about. So the first one I have is um, the Whole Foods Bio Seculose Mask Nourishing Royal Jelly. I love this. I caught this on sale. Um, it doesn't have like the most, like out of this world ingredients it does have witch hazel um glycerin shea i liked the ingredients but i didn't love them i think i really like the jelly what's inside of it is it terrible i'm i'm not one of those people who are like you need to be organic clean you use what's best for you I just felt like this was going to be amazing and I would probably give it like three out of five stars just because I feel like for for Whole Foods and the fact that like they're a specific price because they have a specific kind of product that there would be like top of the line ingredients especially for what they sell I think this is just okay I like the jelly I would totally buy this again if it's on sale it's not something I need to like run out of the store and say hey you need to get this shit it's just really okay I love when there's water and glycerin and the first two ingredients shades very moisturizing um ginger root oil I it tingled but yeah and that's okay I, I'm not really crazy about um them having witch hazel and these other things that I can next is the patchology patchology flash patch rejuvenating eye gels i love this this is really good i caught this on sale for i think about a dollar this is um from nordstrom rack this is it said three dollars on it but i i got one from my friend too and it was like about a dollar and some change it's really nice it definitely depuffed and i felt really hydrated i would get this again but probably in a set because buying one of these is sort of i think i don't think it's the most cost effective um, but it was if you're one of those people that are like I just need to try something just to figure it out then this is definitely product is the argan oil from Morocco this is cream of nature's product it's an intense conditioning treatment I felt like this had a little bit too much oil and my skin oh it matches the, the product. my my scalp and my um, actual coils really can't handle like too much oil I have to be really light-handed 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 and use things in moderation when it comes to my hair I probably would I'm not really a fan of cream of nature I feel like they're very like the um, Payless of hair products. Um, this is the Sambucas Sanidides Elderberry Immune S Syrup. I got this when I was in panic mode during coronavirus shit, and I was thinking to myself, why the fuck did I buy this? I'm like, I'm never gonna need this because I stay home anyway and I take my vitamins. No. This system needs to be up regardless and what i really liked about this is that i sometimes get a really strange itchy throat because i'm allergic to dust so like dust is always around me and so i always think i'm on the verge of getting sick but i have to like tell myself that you need to just chill bitch because there's it's unnecessary to get stressed out about getting fucking sick because you know how to take care of yourself. I'm really good with my vitamins. But these are nice to just pop in when you get an itchy throat or you feel like maybe you are about to catch the flu, uh, the flu, the cold, whatever kind of sickness. Because it has such a high percentage of elderberry which is a really di good digestible form of vitamin C. I think everyone this should be... This is the raw sugar moisture loving body wash. This is empty. My roommate and I got this. She bought the bigger one and we both love it. It smells really Really nice has amazing ingredients it it lathers really now so it doesn't dry out your skin I feel very moisturized I would totally buy this again but I did kind of get over the avocado cactus pear flavoring for this I think that it was more on this um, it see it felt maybe because I mean it is a it does have fragrance it's at the bottom of the uh, bottom, bottom of the deck <laughs> bottom of the um, the ingredients list which doesn't have like a huge impact on me because I don't mind like I, I like when it has like essential oils and fragrance in it I'm fine with that especially if it's at the bottom like, it's literally the last ingredient I just wasn't crazy about this flavoring I feel like 
don't know. Maybe it's just the. It might be the cactus pear. It's avocado and cactus pear. I just kind of got over it. It felt very like, summery, and because I'm still in the midst of spring in New York City, I could probably wait a couple months before I get, like, kind of get into a flavor like this. the It Secret Sauce Clinical Advanced Miracle. Excuse me, miraculous anti-aging moisturizer. That is a mouthful. Why would you want that on the package? Like, if someone came up to you and said, can I have the Advanced Miraculous Anti-Aging Moisturizer, what the fuck would you say? Secret Sauce is really good. It is super duper luxurious. Like, I want to put this on my cuticles. That's how, like, luxe it is. I don't know what they did in there. This is really, really good for someone who is on the oil, oily side. And I think in particular on the spectrum spectrum of anti-aging ingredients i say that in particular because as someone who's in her 30s i don't think it's necessary to use what's popular in the market you need to kind of figure out where your skin is at i am sometimes at a standstill with my skin because i think right now it looks amazing even with the makeup i put on i have no foundation on and i put on concealer and i covered up spots and maybe it's just simply because i'm not in the sun which means that i need to up my um my uh spf game but um this is one of those products that if i was probably 40 and above i would probably be using this because your skin is going to change and i think the less like estrogen and collagen that we have in our skin to make us as youthful and beautiful as we are your products have to change with the times and the temperatures and the season that you're in and i think this is one of those creams that like you really only need just a tiny bit because it spreads really buttery on the skin like think about butter that's sitting on a counter all day and you pick up and it just like kind of whips up really nice but it has like a really nice oil in it i need to actually figure out what oil is in it because i like that it worked really well with all my other products i've based a lot of my critique based on like how do things work together and i've 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 come to a really nice skincare routine that i it, i like to change my skin routine because i don't want it to get adjusted to too much right now i'm i'm like in between loving and hating my um toner slash essence but they still work and the fact that like that same toner and essence I use I use with this and I have a different I've used two more moisturizer after this makes a huge difference I mean that's how I judge skincare products this is something that I would repurchase I would only repurchase it probably from fall to uh, fall to um, winter excuse me fall to winter because uh, my skin usually is a little bit more dry on on, on my cheeks and my chin um, and around whatever this or part of the face is um and then i like to switch it up for spring and summer i would repurchase this i haven't had a, a moisturizer that i've wanted to repurchase in a long time and this was given to me so this is on the pricer side this is about 68 and i'm not even in the 40s and I, I like this for me but um it's weird because now that sephora is not open it's like how do you try something if they're if they're only giving you two samples like sephora Stop skin that. fix resurface plus glycolic renewing scrub double duty pre-shower body peel and polish for rough bumpy crappy skin tested and recommended by unbiased terms seven percent glycolic acid plus six percent lactate i love this it is really nicely priced it is good for your skin amazing ingredients it's gluten-free and freaking vegan it's a really good brand but this in particular I'm so the when you shave your pits for a long time I feel like you kind of get that alligator -y, bumpy skin after a while and then using this before I was about to shave or using this before um like just a night out or whatever just using this any day I feel like improved my under our pit a lot especially in my my lady zone and I I don't know, maybe because it just has glyc like I love glycolic and lactic together. Um, I have a toner in my face, which I feel has gotten a lot. I've get gotten whoa, whoa, <laughs> gotten rid of a lot of the dark spots on my face, and it's worked efficiently for me. This is one of those products that I think is worth buying, even based off the strength of everything that's coming out of my mouth. That is how great this product is to me. It's it's. A different kind of scrub that you use on your body as opposed to those cheap ones you get at like Walmart or Target that's just like grains constantly like scraping your skin I think the gr the fact that this has grains and glycolic and lactic and you're really like pushing that dead skin out but in like a 
I wouldn't say it's natural because it has obviously something in it that will that will sloth off the skin, but it just felt really smooth. And sometimes when you're shaving and you catch yourself, like I haven't had a nick or any kind of issue since using this, and I've had this for about six or seven, maybe even eight months. Like I've never had a scrub like this. This is this is probably the best scrub I have ever used. This is definitely a repurchase. And definitely. then last but not least is going to be the Pharmacy Bright On Massage Activated Vitamin C with Euchinacea Green Evie Mask. This bitch, I loved her. My little beefing tin. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a uh, empties without a beefing tin. Is that okay? So I got this in an exclusive Boxy Charm, which I'm thinking about signing up for Boxy Charm again. <laughs> So silly. Um, I love this. It definitely helped with dark spots. It was a clay mask, so like it got really into the pores and it cleaned it out the way I would want those tiny little white pores to get out. This would suck it out. I just felt like I didn't get enough time to use this. I've talked about this and maybe I had it too long. I mean, it does say what a year on it or whatever. And it was nice that it was vitamin C. So it's tackling two things because sometimes when you're doing masks, you have to decide which one is it that I really want to do. You know, do I want to clean my pores out or do I want to do vitamin C? And there's nothing wrong with doing a mask every other day. You can do a mask every day if you wanted to. The choice is ultimately up to you. I do mine once or twice a week because I feel like my skin really needs to like rejuvenate and and like the cells need to just turn over as naturally as possible but this is one of those masks that can help with that I just feel like it dried out a little bit faster than I wanted to and I got to a point when I got to the middle that I was sort of like squeezing in or squeezing out like more product and I don't know if maybe my left it open it it could be just a me situation this is something that I would definitely try again and I would put in my um, repertoire I currently use which I need to use one another time which is the fresh ombre and clay I like this one too I think this one gets a little bit deeper into my pores as long as you put on a very thin for a uh, formula thin layer as thin as possible I feel like it really gets in there and it does this job what's nice is that it changes colors so it definitely will help you like sort of differentiate like the difference it's kind of like a dark clay mask becoming dark or a light clay mask becoming dark i like that it goes from green to purple and um it brightens up the skin which is i think really unique about pharmacy their products are really amazing i think they are worth every nip i love freaking doing empties it's one of my favorite videos i like to give my opinion on things that you guys didn't ask for so that wraps up this video thank you guys for so much for coming back to my channel i'm gonna do my best to um come back on here regularly it's just life is so crazy right now and I know that we all are experiencing so if you catch my video thank you so much for being here I appreciate your time your energy for you to just even comment like subscribe all that I, I love when people come to my channel and I, I continue to get followers even though I haven't posted in a while I do apologize but I'm sure that you're experiencing the same thing that I am which is trying to navigate yourself between your mental your emotional your spiritual journey and sometimes a lot of things don't make sense and which is why I started my tarot card because I feel like in some ways I'm helping and I am sharing a message that comes um, abundantly to me and um, I don't want to say that it feels like it's not important to, to post on my beauty channel but sometimes it does feel a little trivial to talk about these things because there are other people who don't have the money and the resources to buy or have the things that I have and so um, Sometimes I'm at a standstill at that and so um, I had to put those thoughts away to realize that like my channel is a way for me to be my most energetic vivacious self and showing things that interest me and maybe this is a, a great opportunity for us to just like disconnect for the world even if you're on I'm on your screen for 15 minutes it just is nice to sort of like lift off and go to another planet so <laughs> and I think that happens in this channel and so I I came on here to put on lip gloss and then I just put on a full beat and I was like I should record a video and those are the most authentic videos that make me feel good about posting and not some please watch me do my eyeshadow for the umpteenth time which you probably will in a couple weeks but when I feel like it. <laughs>